Hello friends. Here we have the model social science MCQ paper for the coming SSLC examination. This is being released in order to help you in your preparation. Let's go ahead. KCEB SLC new format MCQs OMR based 2021 social science first model question paper. First question Francisco D. Almeida implemented blue water policy. Second question Salva agreement was signed to end the first Anglo Maratha war. Next, a Fausdari Adalat is the criminal court. The Governor General during the fourth Anglo Mysore war was Wellesley. Third Anglo Mysore war, it was Cornwallis. That option is also there. You should not get confused. If you are good with the subject, you will be able to answer that. Next, the social reformer who declared back to Vedas was Dayanan Saraswati. Next, Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jansi revolted against the British due to the doctrine of lax policy. In most of the questions you don't need the options at all. The questions are so simple directly you can hit on the answer. Ras Bihari Bose and Madam Kama are the leaders of revolutionaries. They are known as revolutionaries. They are not moderates, not at all. Radicals, no, that is not the right word. They are not extremists, no. The founder of Indian National Congress is it is Alan Octavian Hume. A O Hume. Option B. Next. Forward block. Immediately, what flashes to you is Subhash Chandra Bose. Forward block was founded by Subhash Chandra Bose. Yeah. Lala Lajpat Rai was killed during what do you associate with? It is the Simon Commission. Protests that were going on with regard to Simon Commission. There he was hit on his head. And after a few days, he breathes his last. So, the protest against Simon Commission B. Next, Mahad Tank and Kalram Temple Movements. With whom do you connect? It is with Dr. B. R. Ambedkar were organized to protest against the practice of untouchability. Ambedkar was very much concerned about abolishing this particular attitude in the minds of the people. The word added to preamble through 42nd amendment of the constitution are two keywords socialist and Secular. Chennamma revolted against the British from which town of Karnataka do you link with it? It is Kittur. Kittur. Lokpal and Lokayukta are set up to check what can it be other than corruption. Corruption. You should be able to get the answer instantaneously without any delay. Next, the Constitution of India's Article 51 advocates is directly linked with international peace and cooperation, establishing international peace and cooperation. In 1966, USSR had supported the Tashkent Agreement between 
the word Tashkent is directly linked with 1965 Indo-Pak War. It was Lal Gaudu Shastri who signed the pact with Kosijin, the president of Russia at Tashkent. So the answer is India and Pakistan. The fight was between India and Pakistan and the pact thereby the pact was signed. The Human Rights Declaration was adopted on, we know well, December 10th, 1948. The Cabinet of UNO is Security Council. The General Assembly is called as the Parliament of the UN. All the countries of the world are represented there, 193 nations. Security Council has 15 members. It is known as the Cabinet of the United Nations. The Chief Architect of the Indian Constitution is who else can it be other than Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. You have it on the tip of your tongue. Next. The book Republic was written by Plato. Plato. Next. Karnataka State Vaita Sangha was founded by M.D. Nanjunda Swami. Next. Child Marriage Prohibition Act was passed in the year 2006. The highest peak in the Eastern Ghats is again A. Anamudi. Anamudi. Dras near Kargil is prominent for lowest recording, recorded temperature in India. Coldest place. Dras is near Kargil in Jammu and Kashmir. The black soil is derived from basalt rocks. Disintegration of basalt rocks leads to black soil. State like roots, roots which are like states coming up from the ground, state roots. They are fine, they are found where mangrove forests are there. Because the area gets submerged in water, the roots will not be able to breathe, respire. So the roots develop, upright roots developing from them. They are called as state roots. So, such roots are found in the mangrove forest. Next. The best flowing rivers of peninsular plateaus of India are Mahanadi and Krishna, they are east flowing. Tunga and Badra, no doubt. They are tributaries of Krishna, they are east flowing. Kaveri and Pala, they are east flowing again. So, the only right option is Narmada and Tapi or Tapati, whatever you call Narmada and Tapi, that's how British used to call. Shifting farming and sedentary farming are the two types of commercial farming, no, not at all. Intensive farming, no. Irrigation farming, no, cannot be. It is subsistence farming. You get back again. Shifting farming, you go on shifting your farming field, the field where you farm to different places. So it is a an old method of agriculture where people used to shift. The other one is sedentary. Sedentary, the same piece of land will be there, you keep growing. So both these are subsistence farming. You like to grow what you need for your day to day sustenance subsistence. Next. The gateway of India is Mumbai. Delhi has India gate. Mumbai has gateway of India facing the Arabian Sea. So it's Mumbai. The iron and steel industries and the private sector among these. Sometimes these may turn to be a bit difficult. You can go for elimination. See, this first steel plant. See, I don't remember much. It is there in the textbook, no doubt. Bokaro steel plant. 
It's a government owned one. Public sector, you find it in public sector. Bilai steel plant, again it's in the public sector. In the first five year plans, these were developed. The Salem steel plant, again it's in the public sector. Then it should be Ispat. If you have read the text well, it's not a prominent question there. You have to select Ispat steel plant is in the private sector. Private sector. So the question is, Iron steel industries and the private sector among these is Ispat steel plant. Next, one of the measures for preventing coastal erosion. Where do you find coastal erosion? In the western coast and the eastern coast. Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Gujarat, a little bit of Goa. Then on the eastern coast you have it in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa and West Bengal. How can you stop it? That is the question is on that. How can you stop erosion? What step can you take? Construction of dams. Can you build a dam to the sea? Out of question. District, restrict sand mining in coastal areas. On the sea coast, don't do mining. Don't take up mining. Mining will be disastrous. Okay, we will see the other options too. Avoid the construction of large dams and reservoirs. Again, the same thing is repeated in another form. Construction of high-rise buildings. High-rise buildings are there in many cities in the world. That cannot be a reason for sea erosion. So the reason is, main reason, sand mining in coastal areas. So restrict it. You restrict it. Next. The oldest and still existing newspaper of India. You should learn it by heart. You should know. It is Bombay. Samachar, Bombay Samachar, a very old newspaper. It started in the earlier 50s, earlier 50s of the 19th century, nearly 200 years old. Still, it is running. The port situated in the Union territories of India, among these, Kolkata is not a Union territory. Vishakapatnam, it's a harbor again. It's not a union territory. Ennore, it is another big harbor. A little above Chennai. That's not the answer. Port Blair, you got it. Port Blair is in the Andamans and Nicobas. It's a union territory. So, always when you answer, you select the option. If you know directly, you can select. In case you get confused, you can go for elimination. A go on eliminating what is not, you land up in the right answer there. Okay, next. When national income is divided by the total population we get, what is the national income of the entire country? How do you get it? By working out how much of goods have we produced and how much of services we have provided. Add up both, you get that of the entire year, divided by the population of the country. It is nearly 136-138 crores now. When you divide, you get per capita income. Where is it? B. Per capita income. Ashraya Yojana. See, you are good at Kannada too. Ashraya means providing shelter. Providing a house. There itself you get the indication. Ashraya Yojana was implemented to provide houses it should be. Okay. Employment for unemployed people? No. Shelter for the shelterless people? The word is here. Shelter. Agricultural land for landless people? That comes under Krishi. Schools for illiterates? That comes under education. So the answer is here. Shelter for shelterless people. Next. A uniform system of Panchayat Raj institutions throughout the country was established by Panchayat Raj was introduced. Panchayat Raj at a three tier system at a village level, taluk level, district level. What is that amendment that was brought in? Article that was passed. What is it? You should remember number 73, 73rd article, 73rd constitutional amendment act in 1993. It can't be the 63rd one, 53rd one or 43rd one. Here you have to remember 
the amendment number. With that only you can find out. Next, the account holder can withdraw deposit any number of times in a day in this type of account. You have savings account, you have current account. It should be one of these two. Savings account is what householders, ordinary people keep. All those who have business, they will have current account. In the current account, you can make withdrawals or remit deposits any number of times in a day. So the answer should be current account. Bank will not question you. The national savings certificate, they are issued by post offices. NSC certificates are issued by the post offices. They may be 5 years or 7 years. Next. World Consumers Day is celebrated on 15th of March every year. It's easy. Damn easy. You remember. Remember the date. 15th of March is World Consumers Day. And the last question. The Consumer Protection Act came into force in India. In the year 1962, 72, 1986, 1996. It is 1986. Thank you.